Hi, welcome to Cypherific, where I cover tech, news, reviews, and more. My name is Joey Petrick. Let's get started. Hi, um, don't you hate it when you have your iPod touch or iPhone and it crashes on you and you have to restore it through iTunes and you lose all your data? Well, what happens if if it crashes on you, but you don't have to restore it? Well, that's what I'm going to be covering in this video. Now, a lot of time these crashes happen is because you download a lot of jailbreak things. Now, I'm going to purposely, um, purposely make my iPod Touch crash, just so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, now how I did it was I downloaded this Apple Dex thing. It's supposed to be a theme, and I can cover themes later in a different tutorial. And normally they work really good, but this one causes my iPod Touch to crash. And I'm going to purposely crash my iPod Touch. Now I don't recommend any of you guys doing this, so... And as you can see, here we go. And as you can see, it'll just continue to do this, and you're thinking, oh no, um, now I'm going to have to restore my device back through Apple. I'm going to lose all my apps that I had. Well, I did some digging online, and I've actually found a way to fix this. So, let's jump into that part of this tutorial. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to iFunBox. Um, do a Google search and it should be the first link that you see. Okay, click on that. It should bring you up to this website. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click this download button right here. And what this program does is it allows you to search the file system on your iPhone or iPod Touch. After you get that extracted, you should see this icon. Just double click on it to open it up. And as you can see, you can't see my iPod Touch here because I don't have it connected to the computer, so let's do that now. Okay, you're going to want to get your USB, plug this into your USB end. Here's your iPod Touch that's still trying to start up. Now, you might have to manually restart this thing, so just hold down the top button and the home button, or the sleep and the home button. And it should see the Apple logo now. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to raw file system. And you're going to want to go to library. Then you're going to want to go to mobile substrate. And you're going to want to go to dynamic libraries. And see these two files in here? These are the two files that got created when I crashed my iPod Touch. What they are is they're jailbroken um, application file settings. And it's okay if you delete all the files in here. Just don't delete this folder. So what you're going to want to do is delete them. Hit OK. And just give your iPod Touch a little time, and it should restart and be all set to go. So thank you guys all for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please let me know if this um, tutorial helped you guys out. Thank you very much.